How, how do you expect me to start this video? I'm not okay, man. <sighs> Okay, I can do this, I can do this. So if I do everything right, this video should come out the same day that MatPat puts out his last game theory. And I am not gonna be ready for that. For many of you probably, I've been watching MatPat and other theory videos for over a decade now. And that's crazy to think about because I've only lived for two of those. That's right, for over half of my life, I have been watching MatPat. And it's kinda now just hitting me that that's gonna end. And I don't know what to do about it, so I'm making this random video. One of the things that I wonder a lot is if MatPat knows how much he impacted me and other people on an individual level. Like many kids, I was young, impressionable, and willing to copy anything that I saw other people do that I thought was cool. Well, look at how that turned out. But I'm not just talking about that, I'm talking about life lessons that I've learned through watching game theory videos. One thing that I think stayed with me for a very long time was the whole Sans is Nest situation. I think we all remember when that video came out, Undertale was extremely popular, and this video definitely was not. Like, a lot of people saw it, but not a lot of people agreed with it. I remember watching the situation go down on Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, and all the types of things. People arguing back and forth whether it was true or not, people disavowing it, people using different pieces of evidence, and all that type of stuff. And I remember later, when remarking about the situation, MatPat actually explained that it kinda didn't matter if it was true or not. That the point of making theory videos like that wasn't to actually find an answer. Instead, it was about the research, the discovery, and the process of finding new things trying out random ideas no matter how ridiculous they may sound. And at the end of the day, if you learned something and had fun while doing it, then that's all that really matters. If you were able to teach other people along the way, that's even better. It was lessons like those that I didn't realize I was learning until way later in life. And it's lessons like that that led me to making videos in the first place. Like, of course I had other influences, but the reason why I believed that I could make videos in the first place was because MatPat told me I could. Or at least he told me in a very indirect way. So thank you, MatPat for teaching us and believing in us and helping us when we got confused about things, supporting us and teaching everyone how to support each other at the same time. It's my hope as someone who learned from you to create media that I can make something as educational and as helpful to others as you did. He's definitely not going to see this, but I just kind of wanted to get it off my chest. All right, I think that's all I got for this video. Goodbye, Matt Pat, and thanks for everything.